Greg. Oh, hey, Greg. How are hey, you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. What's up? You know, we got this new series called um, Five Things You Don't Know About Me. Do you have a few minutes? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, absolutely. What's up? Oh, fantastic. Um, do you want to uh, maybe tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so my name is uh, Greg Grauman. I am the Vice President of Enrollment Management here at HPU. Uh, I grew up in Ohio ah. and had lived a lot of, I, I, I would say I have the Midwest sensibility still in me, but I've lived in a lot of places since then. Um, went to college at American University in Washington, D.C., and later uh, grad school at uh, University of Notre Dame. Cool, cool. Uh, what part of Ohio? Uh, Northwest Ohio. Northwest um, Ohio, okay. Right on the, the Mich close to the Michigan border. And you've been at HVU for? I have been here for five, just over five years. Five years, wow, congrats, wow. Thanks. Fantastic. So I know this is kind of on the spot, yeah, but do yeah. you have five things maybe we don't know about you? Sure, sure. Um, well, I, I mentioned I've, I've lived different places. So uh, back in the 90s in my first professional uh, career, I lived in Brownsville, which is on the southernmost tip of Texas, and I was a high school teacher. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that was a little different than what I've been doing now for nearly 20 years. But uh, High school? But How long did you teach high school? I was... Just at three years. Three years just okay. at three years is typically the tipping point of whether you're in or you're out. Yeah. Three years, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's that's typically. It's a for, tough. That's a tough. It's job. a tough profession. No, I, yeah. uh, you know, kudos for those who. Um, I, mean, I think that's probably one of the harder jobs um, to 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 do well in. And I was not finding the discipline part. Um, it was really my forte. What grade did you teach, like 9, I was 12? 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wow. And the whole... I think really what, what got me out, um, I, I was living in uh, Western Australia. Um, wow. In Perth. And I was then teaching 7th and 8th graders, and that just, <laughs> that, that pretty much... 7th and 8th graders. ...was not, not, uh, not what I wanted to be doing. So um, wow. from there, I, I, I got into higher ed. Well, so I didn't know that about you. That's a good one. Yeah. What's yeah. Uh, number two? Oh gosh, number two. Um, well, I I um, I've been happily married for uh, more than nineteen years now. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. And I have five children. Um, five. In ages twelve to to four months. Wow. Yeah. That must be a, um, I guess a big part of your day, but probably an unbelievable experience. It's a joy. It, it's wonderful. I, I would say um, the family part and, and finding that right family work balance has, yeah. has been a work in progress, but I, I think I'm, I'm getting to that sweet spot and really enjoying it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Number um, three. Number three, uh, you know, I, I mentioned I lived in Australia, uh -huh. um, also had an opportunity to work at a university in Italy. So I oh, wow. uh, uh, worked for just, just under two years at uh, the American University of Rome as well. In Rome. Oh, wow. Oh, Rome's pretty amazing. Uh, Rome is a yeah, pre yeah we're a pretty cool place. Yeah. I, I studied abroad there and then yeah. later on got, got an opportunity to come back. So well. you worked two years in, in Rome? I was back and forth between the U.S. and in Rome. So wow. I wow. was based in Washington, D.C. and then about every three months would go out there and wow. uh, spend some time and then come back. Yeah. Such an amazing city. Yeah. Um, let's see. Fourth thing, I am... Here we go. I'm, I'm passionate about fantasy football. So fantasy football. That okay. Is, uh, that's you know, if I'm not spending time with the family, at or at work, I'm probably listening, ingesting information about fantasy football year round. That, that's something. Who is about. who is your top pick? Ooh. Oh, who, who would this, be your top pick for the upcoming oh, draft? You know, it it have to be Christian McCaffrey. I, I think really? It would be hard not to. Uh, not Tom Brady. Uh, oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, I'm, a, I'm a Michigan guy, so I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not. Uh, He's from, isn't he from Michigan? He is a yeah. University of Michigan. Yeah. Alum, so I, uh, he might have got another an affinity good year. for U of M, but yeah. um, no, no. I think Tom's seen his way in fantasy football. He's probably top eight or top, top eight. eight. Oh, okay. Still not bad given these. No, I used yeah. <laughs> fantasy football is a bad. lot of fun. I know. I know. Um, Fifth and, and last thing. Last thing, I'm a big fan of reality television. So, reality TV, yeah, okay. Love it. I I think I've seen every episode of Survivor minus the, the third or fourth season when we were in Australia. 
and they made the bad choice of doing an Australian version of it, which oh, that's right. did not cut mustard. So Gosh, um, it's out there. I probably should watch it on Amazon. I have not yet, but otherwise, that's that's my go-to for wow. Thirty-five. Yeah, that's 36. been a, has it had been that long? Something like that. Yeah. Oh wow, that's I remember when that first started. Like, was it like fifteen or twenty years ago or something like that? Back it was two thousand. Yeah, twenty-one years. It's ago. amazing. Yeah, so it's, that it's is still, a fun show. Still going, still yeah, that, going strong. They'll be on this fall. That's probably the most successful reality show I would imagine. I would say, I mean, I, I'd say Amazing Race is right up there in right. terms of longevity. Um, right. But that's not been on as consistently, right, as, as that. But yeah, any any kind of reality. Uh, big Brother. Oh, yeah. yeah like, big like Big Brother <laughs> as well, though. It's, uh, no, I, I, I don't have, I'm not very highbrow. You can tell that, but <laughs> it, it passes the time. And it no, that's, yeah, it's entertaining. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, that's great. I really appreciate your time. Pleasure. No, thanks for stopping and, by. And um, I hope you have a great summer, and thank you for everything you do. Cheers. Thanks, Greg.